Welcome back to Twin Cities Live. You know, no surprise, people give up junk food as a New Year's yeah. resolution, but it generally lasts only a couple of weeks, if that. But can you imagine never having another cookie or candy bar in your life? Wow, it sounds a little extreme, but we found a diet program aimed at helping people give up sugar for life. And TCL producer Kelly Hansen explains how it works. Months ago, Rick Francis was an addict. It wasn't drugs or alcohol. For me, it was, was the inability to stop eating something once I started. It was food, anything and everything sweet. Donuts, candy bars, uh, hard candies, uh, orange slices, bubble gum. I didn't recognize that obsession and the depth of that obsession uh, until really I came here. He found what's called CORE in YZ, a food recovery program that taught Rick not only to eat less, but eliminate his trigger foods. So you have been able to avoid sugar since August? Since August 10th, I have had, I have had no sugar. I have had no white flour or processed flour. It's based on the 12 steps of, of AA, and it's similar to uh, uh, treatment that an alcoholic would have. Bert Nordstrand has been a recovering food addict for 30 years. Those 12 steps saved him, and it's why he founded the program, a five-day, four-night spiritual retreat. CORE is essentially a place where food addicts come to detox from the sugar and the flour, whatever their personal trigger foods are, and we teach them how to figure that out. Michelle Goldberger, CORE's program director, says like any food addict, she failed at every diet. I had done diets my whole life just to lose 30 pounds. So I would lose 30 pounds, I would stop the diet, and then I would gain 30 pounds again. Finally, she beat her addiction to food six and a half years ago and is now 60 pounds lighter. It was just taken away to have chocolate or ice cream or cookies or cake. It doesn't call to me. It could just as well be cardboard. Rick was one of the first graduates of the program and since August has lost over 30 pounds. My ability to concentrate and focus, even like this with you now, uh, to stay entirely focused into this conversation, I wasn't capable of doing that when, when I was eating those kinds of foods. And his wife reports, well, he's much happier. She didn't say I'm not irritable. <laughs> she said I, I'm much less irritable. So that's a good thing, right? I'm a person with a lot of empathy, and, uh, and this place literally saved my life. Pretty incredible. Yeah, it is incredible. Good for them. And I think, gosh, we, we all wish that we didn't, you know, some obviously are, um, cases are more severe than others, right. but we all wish that we didn't always reach for those cookies and treats and I anything know. that's unhealthy, frankly. And understanding where that comes from mm -hmm. and being able to overcome that if it's a if it's a real issue. That's really great. So good job, you guys. So the next retreat is coming up January 11th through the 15th. You can head to the program's website uh, on the bottom of your screen. We have it right there. You can register for that retreat. And there are also other retreat dates through Throughout the year you can sign up for. Yeah, and there you can also find out more about the core founder and his award-winning autobiography. It's called Living with the Enemy. And we want to, of course, thank the Core Recovery Program for sponsoring the show and for helping people out. Really cool.